With the assembly file for the Stirling engine still open, click the flywheel in either the graphics area or on the feature tree. Then on the In Context menu, click the Open icon. SolidWorks should now open a new window with just the flywheel part in it. We can pan, zoom, and rotate the part in the same way that we did in assembly. Also, in the part file, there is a feature tree. But in the case of a part file, the feature tree is made up of all the features it took to create the part. At the bottom of the feature tree, we have a horizontal blue bar that allows us to roll back history, select it, and drag it up. As we drag the bar up, we're rolling back through the history of the part. And at any time, we're going to be able to insert features back in history. Now, not only does the part file contain the physical geometry of that part, it also contains custom properties for the part. Custom properties are found on the left-hand side of the graphics area on a task pane labeled Custom Properties. The icon looks like a hand holding a piece of paper. If you don't have any icons for the task panes visible, it is possible that you have the task panes turned off. To turn on task panes, we need to expand the menu flyout at the top of the screen, and then select the View menu. The task panes option is found at the bottom of the View menu, and depending on screen resolution, you may need to use the arrows at the bottom of the menu to get the task pane option. Click task pane to activate task panes. Remember, if there is already a check next to task panes, you don't need to complete this step. Back to the custom properties task pane. Select the hand holding a piece of paper, and we can now see the custom file properties for our file. This list is totally customizable, and will become an extremely powerful tool when it comes to creating engineering drawings. As you can see, in the custom properties, we've captured who modeled the part, the lesson the part was for, a part number for the part, as well as the description. Now, as I said, it is totally customizable. So in a company, you may end up adding a vendor you purchased the part from, or some other unique information that you want captured within the model. I should point out the custom properties are not unique to just parts. They can be used on any SOLIDWORKS file including assemblies and drawings. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at SOLIDWORKS drawings. Again, we're going to start with the current files open, so there's no need to close this file. We can just move on.